Hi, I'm Joseph Hagen, and welcome to Kids Talk. Uh, May is our month to be grateful. Uh, today we're interviewing some community members uh, who we are grateful for, our veterans, teachers, firemen, and health workers. We're going to ask them about their jobs and their experience helping, experiences helping others. Um, we're going to be interviewing uh, Larry Ashenfelter, a uh, retired fireman and medical technical. Oh. Um, so, where did you start with like uh, the firefighting? I started, uh, I was always interested in it before I was old enough to be young one. So when I turned 18 years old, I uh, joined the volunteer fire department where I grew up, mm -hmm. which was in LaVeo, Maryland, outside of Cumberland. I spent uh, 25 years as an active firefighter with that organization, held all the ranks from uh, regular firefighter, step board rider, up to chief of the fire department. I retired as chief of the fire department and then I became a EMT paramedic and rode with LaVale Rescue Squad for 18 years and uh, that's what I did with my time as a younger man. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your favorite part memory of the job like a particular day or something you did? Oh, I, I would say in the fire service, you know, the uh, favorite times were when you stopped a big fire, you saved somebody's home, or you got uh, somebody out of the building uh, that couldn't quite get out. I was involved in quite a few uh, personal rescues because uh, of my size, I'm very small, so I was what they called an inside firefighter. I wore the uh, self-contained breathing apparatus and I was on search and rescue because of my medical experience, so I was inside the building, so I had quite a few times of helping people get out or get their belongings and stuff like you gotta that. You got to feel rushed for that kind of stuff, right? You got to be able to go fast, yeah. Um, anything in particular, remember, like a very specific trip or something to stopping a fire? Uh, stopping a fire, I guess, was my first one was at a... Uh, the bowler, it was a bowl, a big bowling arena in LaVale, and I was rather young in the fire service at that time, and I had qualified to be an inside firefighter. So uh, I was the first one in the door with the, the hose, and uh, I went through the uh, first, and the chief was on my side, and the chief said, okay, go get it. So I crawled inside the first door and saw the fire inside there, and I started watering down the fire and uh, the fire wasn't going out. I looked at the chief and, and he just looked at me and he kind of chuckled and he said, well, I guess there's another set of glass doors in there, so maybe we better go in that next set of doors before we get to the fire. So that was a, that was a funny experience, a learning experience, and then got in there and uh, took care of the fire and sa saved uh, probably 95% of the building. It was handled in the kitchen area where the refreshments and stuff were, so that was probably my funniest and my uh, first experience. All right, um, what about the equipment you used? Well, the equipment we used, the, your gear from your, your boots, your bunker pants, your turnout coat, your helmet, your gloves, your face pieces and everything, you're looking at, you have to wear them every time you go out, and of course they're considered fireproof, but if you happen to fall in somewhere where you shouldn't be or in some place like that, you could lose your life because of burning in it. But most of the time, the fire couldn't bother you with your gear. It weighed somewhere between, if you weren't in a mask, you were looking at about 45 pounds. If you were wearing the Scott tank on the back or the self-contained breathing apparatus, you were looking at about 65 pounds of equipment on every time you went out. Uh, how about how about as an EMT? Well, you have that? had a lot of a lot of good experiences as an EMT. A lot of sad experiences. A lot that we couldn't help. A lot that we did help. I guess one of my favorite experiences was uh, we were called. Uh, I was on night duty and we were uh, sleeping at the rescue squad, and we got the call for a, uh, a the next town up from where we were as a, a mutual aid company. There was a lady in distress that was uh, pregnant. So uh, 
we got up and we went to the next little town and we uh, went to the road that we were supposed to go to. And of course, that wasn't the name of the road. They, that was the name of the people. So we were on the wrong road. And that experience was uh, one of my favorite was it was the uh, I was the first paramedic to deliver a baby in Allegheny County, which is the county that I, I, I delivered a six pound little boy that in the back of an ambulance, it was uh, mm. turned out to be just a fine young man when he uh, grew up a little bit. So I was rather proud of that, delivering a, a mm. little baby. That was my favorite experience with the rescue squad. That's awesome. Some wonderful stories here. Um, we'll stick around, but uh, that's all the time we have. Um, thank you for joining in. Uh, today's month was May. Be grateful. and. Um, Tell your local community members, Vietnam vets, whomstever, um, thank you for your service.